Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to my weekly show where we talk about all things Minecraft. Check out the latest news around the community, spotlight some awesome YouTubers, and have as much fun as we can along the way. So, before starting today's episode, I thought I'd give a quick shout out to Skullman. Check out his awesome YouTube channel at Skullman12313. And now, Back to on the, the show. show. And today, our special guest is none other than Cerberus Black. Yay! Hey, Cerberus. Hey, well. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm alright. It's Sunday, but hey. <laughs> Sunday's a good day to record. Always. It is, as long as it doesn't go on too long. Well, these my episodes, I try to get them out on Tuesdays. So, <laughs> for the viewers, it's Tuesday. Oh, how old? It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> or in Australia, it'll be Wednesday. <laughs> Somewhere in the world, it'll be Monday. <laughs> Somewhere, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, we're going to talk about your channel today. So, what's been going on with your ultimate YouTube channel? Uh, a couple of things going on at the minute. Got my Back to Basics series, season three. I think season I'm three. three. Wow. Yeah. Just had a couple of videos out. It's taken a little bit longer than I thought because the project I started off is a big one. So it's what do you got? Forever. What do you got going on there? Hauling out a flipping mountain. <laughs> You're hauling out a mountain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. What do you got plans for the mountain? I was going to be turning into an ultimate base. On the last world I did, I had my base way up in the sky. Yeah. Platforms. This one, it's it's going to be more subterranean type thing. So oh. pull it all the way out to the top and dig down as far as I can. I do. I do. I did like base. your uh, your sky base. That was pretty cool, especially yeah. when you kept falling off. Yeah, it was a lot of fun building that, especially building that on live stream. I, mean, I think I died <laughs> six or seven times, but <laughs> building one bridge. That's what happens when you work at like 250 blocks, though. <laughs> wow. This one shouldn't die so often. You know, I had a narrow escape on the last episode, messing with TNT. <laughs> so you're going to put a bunch of farms in your uh, underground base? Yes, there will be farms underground with uh, on-off lighting, that kind of thing, to try and control the growth and just mess around with it, see what I can get done, see what oh. I can experiment with. Okay. Going to have a bunch of... What? You're gonna have just the one central, or are you gonna build it kind of spread out and build some mine tracks and it stuff will, like that. When, when I get deep enough down, uh, it will spread out. So there'll be like mine shafts, quite large mine shafts going off in different directions, and there'll be tunnels anyway. Because I've identified a really cool area that I want to make a dockyard in, or a harbour. So oh. Be a underground tunnel going straight towards that, so you don't have to go outside at all. Really, that's the plan. <laughs> Have you done any exploring on your map yet? A little bit. I wanted to keep the map size quite small to start off with, so I've not gone too far out. Not managed to find a village yet, <laughs> which I need because I need to abduct some villagers and bring them into the base. So they're going to be living in there. <laughs> well, that's cool. Yeah, that'd be fun. So I heard you recently did a uh, Transformers video. I did. The first one went up yesterday, actually. Yesterday afternoon. Okay. So Really, really cool game that everyone should see, but <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Have you seen the game? I I actually have not. I believe. I mean, I'm guessing that's the one that's had the most trailers recently. Definitely, yeah. I wasn't sure if that was a video game or a movie. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the graphics are unreal. They've spent a lot of time and money on the models and the lighting. Everything looks picture perfect it does look like a transformers movie but the gameplay <laughs> is smooth as well which so you got best of both worlds game that awesome. looks good and it works well as well works well as well 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 <laughs> my english isn't fantastic today <laughs> so uh what's the story in that uh in that game it's you obviously remember the the original cartoons don't you from oh, way yeah. back when we were all little kids it's <laughs> A prologue, basically, to that. Oh. It covers the last few days on, on Cybertron when they're actually evacuating or trying to evacuate. And the game actually ends just as they fall through the portal towards Earth. So it's just covering the battle that they have in the last remaining days of Cybertron. 
Okay. Well, I remember in the, the sh- cartoon, they they uh, crash landed in a ship. That's right, the Ark. A huge ship. <laughs> <laughs> and yep, you get to go on the you get to go on the Ark and run around it. It's pretty cool. Oh, nice weather. <laughs> I, I don't see any weather. <laughs> Must be only on your screen. <laughs> Yep, it's raining for me. <laughs> Servers are fantastic. Okay, so uh, tell us a little bit about your live streaming. Are you using Twitch or YouTube? Yep, I do have a Twitch account. I don't like using the YouTube one. It's too low resolution. With Twitch, I can actually stream at 720p. It's a lot nicer. So that's Twitch Service, Service Black. Nice and easy to find. <laughs> so what kind of so, stuff do you put up there? Um, anything that's going on at the time. I'll do a lot of uh, episode prep on there so that if people actually want to see what I do behind the scenes of the episodes, they can just jump on and they can watch me uh, die a lot and swear a lot and things. <laughs> so if I'm playing a little bit of Daisy, that'll go up there as well. A bit of armor, play that, put that on. Okay. Or, Supreme Commander, anything that I'm playing at the time, really. It, when if I feel like it. What can you tell up. us about Daisy? I've seen you do that a few times, but I'm still a little boggled as to what it's all about. Um, it's probably the most exciting and frustrating game all at the same time. <laughs> it is. It's definitely for adrenaline junkies. Ah. Uh, it, it's just like real life. You'll spend hours running around doing nothing seeing nothing then all of a sudden you'll be end up in a massive firefight okay with bullets pinging around you people trying to kill you it's good fun it's really really good fun it takes a lot to get into it's not everyone's type of game like Zildjian played with me for a bit he didn't like it um Albinax played with me a little bit he wasn't too sure if when you get into it it's definitely good fun you can just play it for hours and hours it's like minecraft just play it forever (laughs) <laughs> until, until some hacker comes and kills you and then you get annoyed and walk off. <laughs> so could you give us a little uh, background about it? Daisy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's a mod that's uh, running on the Armour 2 engine. Um, okay. can't remember the name of the guy that made it. I should really know. But basically it's uh, zombie apocalypse. Uh, what's basically happened is zombies have taken over the world and you're one of the few survivors left and you just have to survive. It's pretty sandbox, open-ended. There's no end goal other oh, okay. than to survive and collect weapons and food and drink. Just explore the map. And they've actually released, I think there's three new maps for it as well now, not just Chernarus. Oh. Which definitely, it, it alters the gameplay. The map dictates the gameplay. Okay. So in Chernarus, it's big, sprawling, open play, so you can, if you wanted to, run around and not meet another person then right. you've got I've, I've my... seen you do that a lot running around there's nobody there yeah <laughs> and you've got a map called Lingo which I've been playing which is just a tiny little island and it's very PvP orientated you can't help but run into people <laughs> oh wow there's every, around every corner every building there's somebody there shooting at you <laughs> that's crazy I've not tried many of those little sub games mini games whatever you call them right been playing proper Minecraft. <laughs> proper Minecraft. Wait, I thought you've been playing some Tekkit recently. I've been observing Tekkit. <laughs> you've been observing Tekkit. I can't do it. <laughs> it's too complicated for me. What? Oh, too, too... many things. <laughs> too many new things. <laughs> and I thought you were a coder in real life. Yeah, but I'm an alpha Minecraft player. Oh. I get confused when they add new things. <laughs> So this this 1.3 and the the 1.4 snapshots are uh, a little I'm over the top to for you. I'm still getting to grips with that. <laughs> so I'm still dated to the latest snapshot with the new sounds and it's horrible. Are you gonna be uh, are you gonna be running the update for your for your LP? Oh no! I just broke my pumpkin. <laughs> you um, my let's play is actually running on the latest snapshot, believe it or not. Okay. I was advised to do it so that I didn't have to start a new world, which is why I abandoned the old world. Well, not abandoned. I've still got it. Still play on it. 
Okay. <laughs> I gotta do this just right. <laughs> uh, let's go sticky. Sticky piston. Put it on top of the torch. And there we go. We have jack-o'-lantern back. We run around the table here a few times. Whee! I think I've been well behaved. I've not destroyed your cactus. <laughs> <laughs> or spit diamonds at it. Yeah, uh, I'll TNT at it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you and your yeah, TNT. Fuck. Yeah, well known for it. Don't go set... <gasps> what did you say about the cactus? I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll put it back. See? <laughs> See? Oh. No harm done. <laughs> All good. <laughs> there we go. It's a proper cactus now. Sheesh. You want to come over here and play some pinball then? Uh, if I touch it, I'll probably break it. Oh, okay. Yeah, good <laughs> idea. I'll take you out of creative then. <laughs> So what can you tell what else can you tell me about the 1.4 how's that handling other than uh, the nasty sounds they've done something to the coding it's not as laggy as the other snapshot they've definitely done something to it you can Which snapshot are you on then uh 12w39b Oh 39 yeah 38 was pretty bad Yeah it was you can push mobs and stuff through portals now. Ooh! I've been waiting for that. I've so been waiting for that. It's good fun. you got uh, invisibility portions, night vision portions, which I've been having a bit of fun with before with the Armitage. We're making mobs invisible. Invis <laughs> <laughs> invisible creepers. Oh, yeah. Um, there was... I had uh, borrowed some mobs from a certain texture pack. I don't remember which one, but... <laughs> I accidentally put an invisible creeper in my texture pack right before we started our UHC match back in April. Oops. <laughs> and all it was was a pair of eyes. Oh, dear. That's, <laughs> that's going to be terrifying. <laughs> so I had to make sure and remove that after I discovered it. I think I think it was in there in our first trial run of UHC. Yeah. So... <laughs> You know, I started seeing these glowing eyes wandering around of like, okay, for the real match, I got to take that out. Oh. It's just wrong. <laughs> you should hit one of the Endermen with uh, an invisibility portion. All you see is floating purple eyes. Right. We've just running we, around the map. We did that in uh, in 38A or B or something. Mm. And then we went to the end. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and started throwing invisibility potions around. So, yeah, that was kind of... So what do you think of those new rails? As in the sound, or is there a new, <laughs> is there a new type of rail? No, there isn't a new type of rail. That, <laughs> just but... an irritating sound? <laughs> yeah, sound. I, don't think I'll be, I don't think I'll be using minecarts. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather walk. Yeah. Or I'll Definitely. install that um, ice thing that what was it I saw doing it. I think Zildjian. Ice with uh, trapdoors on top, and you run really fast. And you got to have half slabs two blocks above them. Mm. So you're 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 oh he's doing his where you just jump normally, but if if you put half slabs above it, mm. you spam your spacebar and you go even faster. <laughs> He was going fast enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's got to be better than the new minecart sound. Definitely not. Yeah. Um, my wife was watching me play on Geomine the other day, and they have those tunnels all over the place. Mm. And she had to get up and walk away because I was <laughs> moving so fast. <laughs> it was just too much. Oh, so you've been having a lot of fun on GMI then, quite doing quite a bit of multiplayer. Uh, yeah, I've I'm not an SMP type person, but it's interesting to have other people coming along and and uh, putting vines all over your buildings and yeah. dropping down <laughs> hundreds of snowmen. <laughs> and At creating least... quite obscene things inside your house. Yeah, obscene things. 
<laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about that, Cerberus. <laughs> it took it took me three or four days to figure out what your Skype messages were all about. <laughs> Those were good days. It was good fun. <laughs> but multiplayer is definitely definitely good fun. It's something I'm going to be getting a bit more into. Um, my when I my channel first started off, it was actually Cerberus Black and Coal because everything was multiplayer. Okay. And I've kind of steered away from that. I started doing a lot of single player stuff like DayZ. So I right. think I'll be going back to multiplayer. Well, Daisy's multiplayer. Kind of. If you if the guy you want to play with can map read, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how hard is it to read those those maps? Is it are they ridiculously it's, crazy it's, maps or what? No, it's it's a real real map. Well, it looks like a real map, so you have to have some real life skills to read, okay. read the map. And if you've never done anything like that, you've not got a chance. That's you... why I play with Sam Hanwich a lot, because he can do it, and we meet up quite quickly. But you get Zildjian on a daily <laughs> server. You'll not see him, ever. I saw that. Li <laughs> I saw a live stream of you and him running around, and you guys were so far apart. It was... You spent the entire... Um, the entire stream trying to, f to meet up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay... <laughs> It's a huge, huge map. It's like 250 kilometers square or something like that. It's something crazy anyway. It can take you about 30 minutes to run from one side to the other. It's huge. Oh, well, that's that's not bad. No, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, it, it's good, especially when you're on a server with 60 players. It means you, you do actually have somewhere where you can hide and not get seen. You don't have to be fighting all the time. Hopefully, I should be doing some more multiplayer stuff and getting some videos released. It'd be good fun. So, what do you got? What do you got planned? Um, doing something this afternoon. After this, actually. Okay. Uh, just first time ever. Try out one of Vex maps. Ooh. <laughs> I'm a Vex map virgin, so we'll <laughs> see if it works. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, which map are you going to be looking at? What's it called? Wake up, waking up, but oh. the latest one. Yeah, that's. I'm I'm not gonna say too much about that, but that's that's the only map that I've had any experience on. <laughs> um, everything else I've never I've never even touched it. I've watched other LPs of it. So, uh, the the caverns well, I mean... one. I keep wanting to call it Crystal Caverns, but I'm pretty sure that's not the right name. Hmm. Um, and then I've seen his, or you're supposed to, to transport 10 pigs to the other side of the map and put them on top of this huge tower. Right. <laughs> it's called Pigot Panic. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Uh, I'm just anticipating dying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's all it is. I'm going to die a lot and I'm going to get annoyed and then the TNT is going to come out. <laughs> one one thing I do know about waking up though is it's very dark. Yeah. And it makes for really really crappy recording. Yeah, but if you've got a decent editor, you can sort that out. Or run it, it <laughs> run it hundred percent brightness. Yeah. It still doesn't Let's... stop the mobs. Just have a night vision portion permanently in your hotbar. <laughs> oh, does does it run on 1.4? It, it's just a map. Can't see why it wouldn't. Oh. Well, I mean, there's there's traps and redstone. So, yeah, the latest updates have done nothing to redstone, though, have they? I don't know. It Not seems to be working, up. but I haven't seen any major bugs like what we had in the 1.3 update changed... I've got to go back to my single-player world and change all my farms because pistons no longer do what they used to do. Well, you saw what I had to do with my world, rip out that elevator that I was I spent a week building <laughs> because it didn't work anymore. Jeez. That really sucks. Yeah, I wasn't too happy, but I put in Doc M's um, minecart elevator. That works. bit laggy, but it works. Okay. 
and the sun is back up it looks like we are done for the for this episode let's let's throw in some random fun <laughs> and okay so <laughs> what in the world is this thing I uh, so from a uh, texture pack I've been messing around with when you get an enderman really angry his eyes pop out at you <laughs> oh right okay yeah use a use an and gate do, 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 do. okay camera guy is almost here and you may have built something in his path <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. That's okay, he'll just glitch through it. Okay, Serb. So, what do you got going on in the back? What is this? redstone mess. Lots of redstone trickery. <laughs> Can you explain any of it? Yeah. Basically, you've got uh, a pulse shot on her, which then starts off the clock and simultaneously fires this piston to complete the circuit so that it lags like hell. <laughs> so yeah, it starts, sets off your redstone clock so that's the timing for the obviously this stuff going in and out and the block just completes the circuit there so technically if you press the button again it should grab the block pull it back and turn it off okay but isn't that isn't that taking advantage of a glitch yeah it is definitely taking advantage of, gli of well glitch i mean this this piston when... right here is yeah it is okay because the piston, because it's a really short pulse, the piston just drops the block. Wonder how long that's going to last is what I'm actually trying to say. <laughs> um, I don't think they'll change that. Can't see why why they would. It is a is it is a pretty cool feature, but I'm not sure it was actually intended. No, it's not intentional, but it's cool. It's useful. <laughs> There's a lot of bud switches that use the same principle as well, like the sand bud. Sand bud switch. Sand bud switch? Yeah. I haven't seen one of those. Uh, Doc M uses them a lot. Oh, okay. Check out one of his last, his old Let's Play World, and he's got some on there. Can't remember how to build one, but they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to start using them more. Nice and simple. On off. There we go. Pretty complicated for an on off switch, though. Yeah. That's redstone for you. <laughs> <laughs>